Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Thanks for tuning in for your word for the day today. My name is Robert. I'm one of the pastors here, and uh, I've got a question for you. And especially, no matter where you're watching this, this pertains to the, your platform of choice here. And my question for you is, who are you following? And that is such a, uh, a newly defined question in the age of social media and follow and subscribe buttons that you can use. If you're watching this on YouTube, uh, you can like and add people as friends if you're watching this on Facebook. And it's so much bigger than that, though. It's more than just who is a, a digital number on a list. It's also what direction is your life going? Who, whose direction and advice are you following? Are you following political leaders and, and their ideologies and what they're communicating to you? That has become an incredibly contentious uh, topic in our world today. Are you following celebrities or influencers? Are you uh, following billionaires and the decisions they make? Are you following people who sound smart and have podcasts that talk on for hours and hours and, and they can be so compelling? Uh, are you following pastors? And uh, maybe that's us as pastors or, or other ministry leaders. Um, and and don't hear me incorrectly, all of those people can speak truth into us. All of those people can inform us and help us. But really, ultimately, truthfully, who are you following? Are you following people, including yourself, or are you following God? And Psalm 146 poses that question in the form of, of some encouragements to us. See, Psalm 146, uh, starting in verse 3, it says, Do not put your trust in princes. And a son of man in whom there is no salvation, when his breath departs, he returns to the earth. On that very day, his plans perish. And isn't that a stark reminder of, of the, the, the temporary nature of our life and how fleeting our life here on earth is as humans? But more so, of why would we put our trust in, in ultimate direction and hope in people with whom whatever plans they have in place fail on the day they bring their last breath to bear. Instead, Psalm 146 encourages us to redirect to someone else. See, verse 5, it says, Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is the Lord his God, who made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that is in him, who keeps faith forever, who executes justice for the oppressed, who gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets prisoners free. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down, the Lord loves the righteous. The Lord watches over sojourners and upholds the widow and the fatherless. But the way of the wicked he brings to ruin. The Lord will reign forever. O God, O Zion, to all generations, praise the Lord. See here, we're given all these reminders of how we should trust and put our faith and hope and, and trust in God and that he should be the one who directs our life. We're told that he created everything, everything that we know and see he created, that he's faithful and just all throughout time, that those are qualities that we can see and, and quantify and trust in. We can see that he provides consistently for his people, that he sets people free and opens the eyes of the blind, that he provides for people, even people who our society may overlook. We see that he, he lifts people up, that he endures forever forever. Ultimately, what we're shown here is he is the one we should be following. He is everything that any human is not. He is the consistency where people fail us. He is the, the truth where people make mistakes of judgment and have character lapses. He is the perfect one who is completely worthy of our follow. So today, are you following God with your life? Are you, uh, are you seeing him as the ultimate source of truth for your life? Do you understand that his direction needs to be your direction, that ultimately everything he guides you to is what you need to do? Is, is God the priority and purpose of your life and saying, hey, my purpose here on earth is to follow and honor God with everything I do? Because we're given some options here in Psalm 146. We can trust in the, the, the humans, the leaders of this world, the people around us. And they're going to let us down. And ultimately, even if they don't, they're going to perish and fade away, just like we all will. And everything they stood for may fall away as well. Or we can put our trust in God, who rules and reigns forever to all generations. And all generations will praise him because he is worthy of our praise. I hope that you put your faith in God. I hope that you trust in him. I hope that 
the answer to that question, who are you following, is that you are following Jesus. Hope that you have a great day, Calvary. We'll see you next time.